Someone hauled this bucket of yellow paint all the way down to the riverbank. They quickly painted a longship beached here. Then they sailed off, with allies to help crew the vessel. There was a woman called Nal, who came by ship to Thornburg and heralded them, demanding to meet King Sigvaldi, Styrbjorn's father. Nal was from Gautland. She was tall and rugged and strong, and everyone who walked near her said she smelled of men's blood. When her message was sent to our king, Nal was made to wait a full day. Yet she did not complain. She watched the waves and sang songs. Night came and went, and still Nal sat by the shore of the fjord, singing her songs. She skipped rocks with children and smiled. As the afternoon of the second day approached, King Sigvaldi's messenger reappeared. They spoke quietly together. At last, the messenger stood back and waved to some men nearby. Three men bearing three chests of silver approached quickly. They set the chests of silver in Nal's ship and stood back. Then Nal stepped forward. Swinging a large, bloodied sack before her, Nal opened the sack and emptied it on the shore. Go, Seven my eyes. Tumbled to the ground, Nal then mounted a ship and sailed away. <laughs> Soma is just cursed with bad luck. Soma has only ever pleased the gods. Deserting her now, breaking your oath, that is what will bring us ill luck. Eivor, I am honored you have joined us. What's your plan here? All the Shire support Soma's ruling the city. These hamlets do not. They're feeding and outfitting Wickman's army. So we will burn their homes. Quick and devastating, like the thunderclaps of Thor. How did you come to be in Soma's clan? A vision from Evolva set me on this path. It pricked my mind like a splinter, then faded. But I wanted more. For months, years, I ate only henbane, mushrooms, sacred plants, hoping to see something new. But my body dwindled. I lived addled. Maddened, a wanderer, taken in by Saxons and spat out, again and again, until Soma found me, naked and alone in the fence. She clothed and cared for me, 
humbled as I was, I owe her my life. Visions can be strange and powerful. What did you see? I was climbing a mountain. A lion and a snake upon my back, weighing me down. I struggled. And Soma appeared, and she eased my burden. When we reached the peak, there was hardly enough room to stand. On a point like the tip of a blade, we teetered there, gripping one another. Tightly. I know it can seem distant. Obsessed. But the gods are with us always. I see it as my duty to shelter Soma from their ire. What do you think of the others? Leif and Birna? Leif? He's a talented sailor. If a little... enthusiastic. And Birna? Well... Birna thinks of life as a grand joke. She was a smuggler when Soma pulled her from the muck. Making a living on lies. Birna is part of my clan. And I will fight beside her, irreverent as she is. But she has no care for her destiny. I'm eager to start throwing torches. Now let's rid these hamlets of Wickman's rats. Light your torches and set your arrow tips ablaze, Abel. The red enemy of the branch will make quick work of the place. Leave no house unburnt. This is what they get for helping Rand Grand Bridge from Soma. For licking Elderman Whitman's boots. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thanks, Eivor. Smell of burning roof thatch and a heady turf fire. Now oh, that was something. Wakeman is sure to take notice. You stamped and roared like a fiery Sutur himself, marching through the flames of Muspelheim. I'll see you back home, Drenga.
What do you see, Sunan? gets longer, the nails grow, even when the corpse is cold. I've seen it myself. That's not true. You think what? There's a bit of life left in someone long dead. No, Eivor, my muscle banded friend. There's a nest of Wigman's men just here. We're going to pick it clean. Every last one. The fewer lies in the bush, the less itchy the pussycat. That's how I see it. How did you come to join Zoma's army? I'd been in England for ages before Guthrum, Ivar, Uppa... ...smuggling under the eyes of Saxons and Danes alike. I lied, stole, had my nose broken. Life wasn't easy, but it taught me how to bear the pain. I just laughed it away. When Soma took me in, she saw more than a smuggler in me. I was useful to something greater than myself. Useful to her vision. In a world where few saw you as worthy of trust... She's one who did. Right. And I love that about her. I love... ...everything about her. You seem to bring life and spirit to this clan. Does Soma feel the same? If I knew what was going on in another person's head... ...I'd find life dreadful and dull. But Soma seems to enjoy my company. In what way? Her own way. Just not in the way I'd like. Painful truths are easy to bear when you can laugh, you see. Delight in the face of suffering is an act of rebellion. What do you think of Soma's other warriors? Galen and Leaf? Oh, Leaf's got that raw animal pull. Every time I see him, I want him to climb me like a tree and nest in my armpits. He brays about being honorable, but I've never met a man of honor who starts a fire just to be praised for putting it out. And Galen, he broods like it's an art form. He's got this self-importance that is just so charming. We could talk all day, but these Saxons may fly from their nest. You and I should take a closer look. My men will hang back and come running if things go sideways. Show me. Fighting the 
inside you should bring a thrill. Happy I can see it up close. Don't get too close. I might black your eye and bruise your head. <laughs> You'd lose your elbow before the bruises showed. This area is off limits.
That's all of them. Love after slaughter. Shame about the smell, though. Men shitting themselves. You fought very well, Vienna. Is that how you flirt, Eivor? Is that how I what? Easy now, Drengir. I'll see you back in Grand Bridge. Dark spirits torment this land. 